kind of an open floor. I um, th this is the reason we got into business. This whiskey right here. Um, nobody was making a wheat whiskey. It's 100% wheat. It's made with Saskatchewan grain, and um, it's the passion that got us going with Last Mountain when we started about when we were talking about building Last Mountain Distillery in 2009, 2010. Um, it was always the end game to have one of the best whiskeys in Canada. I had no idea how we were going to get there, um, but we had a lot of hard work and a lot of luck and we met some good people and came up with a great process using great grains. So when we first started and distillates first coming off the still and it was this process of okay, we've got it, we, like, we're happy with the product we have. And then I just remember we had friends who were getting married and uh, it was the end of August, so it was before we'd actually opened and they were like, well, of course we want your vodka, this is gonna be great. And the day of their wedding, we're going, how do we know it's 750 milliliters in here? <laughs> like, oh shoot, we have to actually make sure that this is right. And it was this like, why didn't we pay more attention in math? Like, this is basic algebra, we should be able to do this. And we figured it out, but it was like the all these basic little things that There's lots we of had little to figure out as the know. first, yeah. right? Like, no and one was there to show us. This and we ordered all these stuff. bottles, but we didn't realize that the corks were coming separately and they didn't arrive in time. So the first batch actually, right? we had to go to wine kits to, and we used and corks. We, corked. we actually corked the first like 14 bottles because we didn't have anything else and, and the shrinks and Anyway, those first we we kept the first bottle. We were and then sold the next twelve to our friends who were getting married, and they actually still have the second bottle because at that point we, we numbered bottle each one. bottle. It was like the first fourteen bottles, but yeah. What and then over the course of the next month, as things sold, it was like we're gonna. I also remember the first like like you were saying earlier. We didn't know how long that pallet of bottles would last and it was a huge investment it felt like at the time to buy one pallet of bottles and then like it was like a month later and you're like well we're gonna have to order more bottles and I just remember being like no we already did that why do we have to do that again <laughs> but growing growing beans just trying to like it felt like okay good we finally got some of this money back from selling some of those bottles and then you're like and now we have to buy more like oh that's how this works so many things we didn't know. No, exactly. And we were the first, right? We were the first distillery to open. So there wasn't, there were some wineries we got to know over the course of the next year that, that definitely helped us along the way and helped us figure some of these things out. Actually um, pointed the way to the gravity fed bottler that we still use today, but everything else has just been kind of a learning process. People give us a lot of credit for having a great plan, but kind of throwing it together we got lucky at the start <laughs> we're not great planners we're we're more reactionary than proaction 